and I'm going to whip this off. Are you ready for this? Wah! I really hope you like that as much as I do. Right, you guys have been asking for ages and I've been wanting to deliver a new billet inlet manifold. Well, here it is, take it away. Right, let's take a look at one on a vehicle. And the vehicle is the 1952 GMC, which I'm not gonna call a Chevy like I do in all the other videos. Right, I'm gonna jump up in here because I'm young and sprightly and I'm gonna whip this off. Are you ready for this? Wah! I really hope you like that as much as I do. Look in there as well. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh yes. Put that back on. Right, before we have a look at the other side, come on, let's have a look at the detail. So, construction. It's made out of a 6000 series aircraft grade aluminium, which is strong, to say the least, and light. Right, so one of the main things that we need to talk about is the advantages over the original, because obviously we have to have advantages over the original, otherwise there's no point in doing this. The plenum size is one of our main advantages. So this is the full size of the original plenum, and this is the new. Look at that for a comparison. That is absolutely giant in comparison. So that's our first gain. Inlet hose diameter. So we went from a, a two and a half inch in the original to a three inch in our upgraded version. We also put a lot of effort into the flow. So leading on from the hose inlet, on the original, when the, when the air comes up into the inlet, pressurized through, from the turbo, it gets shot straight against number three inlet runner. It doesn't have a nice path of flow to the rest of the cylinders. So I wanted to sort of create a path almost with this triangulation where the air comes in and it gets funneled down into the velocity stacks, which also have really given us a nice gain towards the flow. The original manifold doesn't have any kind of velocity stacks inside, it's just holes inside the casting. So we wanted to add that as a nice performance feature and it looks absolutely stunning. So size and width reduction was a really big factor. One of the big problems with the 606 inlet manifold is it comes out a long, long way from the side of the engine and it often causes a lot of problems in certain builds. So some people chop them down, they modify the plenums and sometimes people put a larger plenum on for performance. Sadly, as we all know, welding a nice or a fabricated plenum to original cast runners generally now some people are going to get hurt by this but generally looks garbage now i wanted to be able to make it it look factory better than factory i wanted it to look you know industrial and this is kind of where we've got to with it so we've also with, with having the design we have the compact design we've got a reversible sort of lid. So we can either place this lid on that way, 
as you can see, that sits onto a nice recess. That thing can't move or walk around. That actually sits on a lip. And if you want to face it the other way, you can. So you can take that boost pipe over the top of the engine. And also the beauty in the design, the way that it has this nice curve, when this is facing downwards like the original, this central section, which is the highest section, is only sort of 50 mil higher than the, the center of the engine. And obviously you can see it ramps down towards the front, which means that generally most vehicles, we've got loads of clearance, even though we've got massive gains everywhere. So as part of the lid, we've also got an O-ring. So the complete bottom of this lid, you can see how thick the construction is, uh, carries a three mil O-ring. And that allows us to seal directly onto this nice thick base plate. And this section here, which is removable, you can get different size ones. These are also trumpeted. These have an O-ring on them also, so they can be removed and replaced uh, without any problems time and time again. You don't have to put a new gasket on every time you take the lid off if you want to take the lid off. Uh, right, where else are we? So, oh, nitrous ports. We also integrated six positions directly above the velocity stacks between the pairs of cylinders for nitrous. You could also use this for water meth if you were so inclined. But yeah, nitrous ports, which is quite exciting. And two here, they're for boost. Now, obviously, if you don't want these, these comes with plugs, blanks that you screw in anyway. Now, the original, as you can see, has a lifting eye at the back. That's part of the casting. So that's what this is for here. This is literally as a lifting eye. If you have uh, a clearance issue in your vehicle, chop it off. You don't have to use it. But that's where we put the lifting eye. Um, torque settings, obviously important. If you're taking it off, putting it on, we've put it all on here. So you've got your M7 flange bolts for the head, 17 newton meters, M6 lid bolts, which are obviously the ones that go all around the perimeter of this lid, 14 newton meters. And that's our unique part number there from the manufacturing process. Um, and one nice detail which most people might notice is if you look at most of our machining, the finishing is to usually quite a high tolerance. Now I wanted this to kind of look a bit gritty. This is bordering on the artwork side of engineering. And that's what we did. We've got this nice finishing pass here, which is quite a, quite a coarse overlap. And it's given us this really beautiful um, linear sort of look, which kind of really shows the, the contours of the plenum. Right, so, now you know about our billet inlet manifold, which I'm really excited to show you. These are obviously going to be anodized. I think I'm going to go with a, I think I'm going to go with a gunmetal gray, maybe a black. Suggestions maybe in the video. What do you think? Cat yellow engine in a 52 Chevy, you're going to go for black, gunmetal gray. Don't say gold, don't say blue or red. Don't want it. Right, let's have a look at some of the other little quirky features on this and, uh, and then we'll wrap this video up. Note, cod piece, very important. Heat must stay within the manifold and turbo to get the maximum efficiency and potential out of that engine. As you can see, this is a removable cod piece to keep the heat in. And the manifold billet also, which is revealed, Fully ceramic coated. Now this is a plasma applied ceramic coating. So it looks a little bit rough on the surface. It's like a textured finish. That's how you know you've got a good a plasma applied ceramic coating. That's gonna keep the heat in there. And um, this broken, horrible plastic valve cover is literally just a prop and we don't care about that. But that's what we do care about. And cod pieces. Right, let's take this engine out and have a better look. Thank you.